case, I'd like to show you um, my experiments with the Jimanke engine uh, enclosure. I've tried uh, to make something like David Nolan's uh, own uh, library implemented uh, to manage my sun graph. So uh, there's just basic working example and uh, of course the workflow uh, I enjoy uh, very much while uh, working with the 3D world uh, so okay uh, the main idea uh, uh, behind uh, OM as I understand it is uh, separating uh, logic from uh, its representation uh, and uh, I try to uh, achieve something similar uh, for the uh, for the 3d simple 3d game in uh, written enclosure so basically uh, I, what we are I am try to do here is uh, implement uh, Hanoi Towers game uh, it's a simple uh, logic game uh, I guess you all know how to play that so uh, that's the um, that's a logic of the game the core uh, the board uh, is uh, defined by uh, arrow ar arrays uh, and uh, the pegs uh, by numbers by uh, I mean uh, vectors and numbers so uh, right now uh, all the pegs are on the first uh, shaft and um, we have a uh, win game state to tell uh, when the uh, user achieved victory and uh, the up state that uh, constitutes uh, from the board and uh, as we can see later a couple of other things so we got a function that validates a move so you can place uh, a smaller peg on top of the uh, bigger one uh, and uh, the logic to move the peg itself and uh, we have uh, this call uh, to actually check that the move is valid and uh, update the board and uh, to check if uh, we uh, won so uh, here's a basic uh, event handling uh, uh, routines, uh, events uh, gets to the uh, core uh, via core async channel. Uh, here you can see it, it's just getting uh, events and try to understand what are they about with this multi method. And uh, that's uh, just a uh, obligatory main method. Uh, so basically that's uh, what the game is all about. And here we don't care about the representation itself. So let's try to start it. Okay, uh, well, you can see you can, it's a game in a... Uh, initial state and we actually can move uh, pegs from one uh, shaft to another and uh, as you can see the game state is updated uh, to reflect the uh, is just uh, updated uh, and uh, the uh, sun graph just reflects it so the way it reflects uh, it just uh, is um, defined by 
uh, components uh, in sp I've tried to just rip uh, off uh, the way uh, the ohm is uh, uh, the ohm components uh, are defined. Uh, so basically, uh, there is a kind of notation uh, here to to describe the stem graph for the board. So uh, here is the root component. Uh, we got a, a node named pivot and we got a, uh, it's uh, we've got uh, its properties uh, it's an, an empty set and we got a uh, children for for this node so basically every node uh, for the stand graph currently consists of uh, array of uh, maximum four elements uh, which are uh, class of the uh, node is just uh, that can be uh, light for example like uh, like here or geometry uh, the name uh, here or uh, uh, or it can be interpreted as a constructor uh, properties and uh, children children is just an array of uh, similar uh, just a vector of uh, similar similar uh, similar things so we are rendering board and uh, we have uh, uh, rows for uh, uh, rows component row component built for each row and we are caring about what's been uh, selected at the moment that's uh, information uh, that uh, pushed into the state every time uh, user select something uh, or, or hovers uh, over something with mouse uh, and um, here's uh, how we uh, how we render a uh, node uh, for for the row it's just uh, it's set in the uh, translation so that they uh, oh, be placed on, uh, uh, on the uh, respected uh, locations and and we have uh, uh, geometry uh, we, ha we have uh, pegs uh, rendered by its subcomponent, and we have uh, nodes uh, with a, a uh, for the shaft with the translation set, and they are uh, rotated upward, and they have some geometry. For example. Um, they are cylinders and uh, the interesting part of the workflow uh, with closure is uh, that actually you can um, change uh, the way it renders uh, in real time for example i not satisfied with the diameter of uh, those shafts and I just want to evaluate, evaluate this component as and as I can see they are updated instantly so let's decrease it a little bit okay so uh, and uh, the game stays in its uh, state and we can continue playing uh, so Uh, it, right now uh, we have only 
uh, render method implemented so we have no ability uh, to add hooks for I did mount, uh, I will mount and so on methods that you can see in OM but uh, it will be uh, easy to implement uh, so uh, that basically it uh, the library that uh, renders this stuff uh, trying to uh, understand the difference between uh, each sem graph uh, it uh, gets while uh, the state is updated and uh, it uh, deletes and uh, creates new entities only if it can't update uh, the properties. So uh, we have uh, we can uh, change uh, um, position of uh, or texture of some objects uh, without uh, affecting uh, other uh, properties. So that's just an example. It's a work in progress. So uh, we have uh, an application uh, module uh, module here, and uh, it's uh, basically uh, doing all the dirty uh, work for. Uh, adding uh, listeners to the uh, um, mouse clicks uh, using the Jimanke engine and uh, checking uh, uh, checking if uh, the uh, geometry is selected and just uh, speaks. Uh, to the uh, event channel uh, with uh, what uh, it found. So there's nothing uh, particularly interesting here. Uh, camera. Uh, uh, skybox and so on uh, okay that's uh, basically it uh, thanks for watching